Who Lives Who Dice is an improvised D&D show that may contain violence and adult themes. Content warnings can be found in the description. Yes. Who Slow, loves who dies? Who loves who dies? <laughs> <laughs> Hello we and are. welcome to Who Loves Who Dies, a show where incorrectly assumed uh, there wouldn't be shenanigans, but look at this table, the joke is very much on me. My name is Matt Bateman and I'm your Game Master, Dungeon Master, Storyteller. Divine Storyteller. Okay, uh, for this <laughs> evening, joined by some incredibly wonderful, talented people, uh, please introduce yourselves. Hello, I'm David Cox. I'm playing Alexi Karstav this evening and all evenings henceforth. Hello, my name's Rhys Lawson, and I'm playing Tutorial, a little wooden boy with a little... Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm Naomi Clark, and I'm playing the Fabulous Four. And I'm going to cause some problems. Oops. Hello, I'm Jennifer Bingham, I'm playing Leandra Kostov, and I'm also going to cause some problems, and also I'm full of grapes. <laughs> Hi, I'm Sasha Burgoyne, and I play Myla, and I'm going to try and not cause any problems at all. Who am I kidding? That's an absolute lie. <laughs> fine. The only diff- Myla's, Myla's fine. fine. Myla, you're fine. Yeah, no. We're all problem We're causes. All problems. We're all problem causes. Bears go. Can you put enough negatives and then you get a solution? Like two negatives make a positive rise? Right? Yeah. yeah. That's why we have an odd number of players. And That's I fine. have a hammer. <laughs> Uh, got a couple of things before we kick off. I think there's one thing Sasha, oh, this is you just had totally to totally stupid and random. But um, in the post show last uh, episode, I revealed that I had a truly ridiculous item in my possession, which is a jaforb. A jaforb. It is a completely spherical giraffe, and it looks like this. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus yes. Yes, my pretty. Uh, for those who watched episode 12, this was Leandra's dinner. So, you're a monster. Oh, there yum, you yum, go. Yum, yum, yum. yum, yum, yum. <laughs> I would eat it to just genocide that entire species. <laughs> I it's would so cuddle it so much. Can't it's do one in the description. Eyes. It's fantastic. So, my brother snow, delights in face. finding me things, like, basically I, the most oh. anatomically incorrect animal-related things he can find. I he just, finds me. I and this, it. I think, is I his masterpiece. <laughs> Uh, we did do a giveaway for your Harry Full Voucher. We will be announcing that at the break halfway through, so stay tuned. Uh, speaking of, on Discord, we also get our patrons and Discord users to ask us questions. And we have a couple of questions for the lovely Naomi Clark playing four. Uh, so the first one, what is four's issue with five? Like, why do you hate okay. five so much? What's the beef? What's okay, the beef, okay. man? So we want to know. What's the tea? The thing is, is we only see, like, literal seconds of each other, like, once a year. But you know when you meet someone and they just, something about them annoys you, and then just everything they do, you're like, oh, that's because they're fucking five, and five's annoying. And it just, it sort of becomes a rolling thing where it's like, it's just like, oh, I don't like, I don't like the way that five gets stabbed in the chest. I don't like the way that five gets pulled out of the goop, you know? And I'm just like, oh, Does five, five give you the ick? Yeah, I think so. Nice. I think I think the thing is, is because, because I'm between two people, three and five, like, Gotta love one, gotta hate one. Yeah. And five was just very easy to hate for me personally. And three's just so great that you know there's no great. comparison. I love three. Three's pretty cool. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just. Three's pretty cool. Yeah, it's not yeah, bad. Yeah. Uh, well, the I'm other question. Uh, what would four's ideal way to die be if you knew it was going to work? Like if how how would four want to go? Work. I think I think there's something very comforting about us all being in the place where we're meant to be together. I think that's I think it's it's holding hands with four of my closest numbered friends. <laughs> uh, you know, like and yeah, as long as we're together and dying at the same time as is prescribed in the ritual. In numerical order as the moon intended. <laughs> yeah. Well, break out your Excel spreadsheet. <laughs> Hold each other's hands and let the darkness take you as we get into episode 13 of Who Lives. I did not like that one. Who Dies. <laughs> Drum roll to the end. <laughs> Welcome. We rejoin the party aboard the Red Wind, a cast off controlled airship en route to Alexei and Leandra's homeland of Coldhaven. Tensions are growing ever tighter, 
Despite the uneasy truce, certain members of the party took it upon themselves to investigate after dark. Hello. Breaking <laughs> into Leandra's study. Hell yeah. Through a series of bad luck and poor rolls, members of the ship were immediately alerted to the break-in. And before Four and Tutorial could investigate, they were ambushed by Leandra. They were saved by three, an acquaintance of four from the leaders of the third district of the 14th house of Lunocratic Analysis and Development, who bamfed Four and Tutorial away and secured their escape. Leandra, realizing and begrudgingly accepting she had been bested, let it slide, knowing deeper consequences potentially awaited our friends on the other side. We now rejoin our heroes with three and four reuniting, Alexi holding a letter involving his sister and the ship potentially a mere day away from entering a hurricane with the coming seasonal changes. So, yeah. what happens next? Um, I would like some time with, with three. I think three and I would like to go for a little turn about the boat. Okay. You know what I mean? Like a little, a little, a little one-two. Would you yeah. like to take a turn about the deck? Yes. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. Better than the old times. <clears throat> um. Three sort of takes takes you on for a second. All right. Should we have a chat? Yeah. It's been a minute. Yeah, it has. Places um. their hand on your shoulder. Apologies for the upset. Uh, you will get your answers, I promise. But my priority is to no, my no, sibling here. No, 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 quite, quite, quite. quite. How is to? Uh, that's a good question. Let's go for a wander, I'll yeah, tell you. Yeah. Does anyone else have anything to say just before we head out? It's <clears> lovely <throat> to meet you. Likewise. Would you prefer to be called Three or the name you gave me earlier? Wreath. 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 <laughs> Memories on you, not great, isn't it? It has been a trying day. Yeah, fair enough, trying time. Trying a couple of weeks for me too. This is absolute torture. I hate this. I've heard. Existence sucks. I've oh. heard. <laughs> we, right. we hear about that quite a lot. Good. Anyway, if I could, please, four, yeah, come okay, with me. Great. Right. right. Um, I think we, we do our turn about the deck. Um, wind blowing in our hair. Yes, majestic as anything. Making our hair longer so the yep. wind blows better in it. Um, so, thank you, thank you. So, um... <laughs> oof. Uh... It fucking sucks. Oh, it's it's horrendous. Yeah. Honestly, I, the, the closest I got was I threw myself off a bridge in a whirlpool, and it kept me going to the point that the immediate, but I just didn't. It, it just eventually, really you float hits. enough maggots yeah. got inside and flies oh. and blow to it. No, not a fun yeah. time. No, I um I still thought the exanguination was a good shout, but it just never really hit. No. Um, what have you been doing? Oh, uh, I mean a lot, a lot. Uh, I was five for a while. We we were close. We were close. Um, so. <sighs> <laughs> yeah, I, no, not not like that. No, 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 no. Like a professional courtesy, all that. I <laughs> uh, know we ended up in Eredin, um for a little while. Okay, okay. Got in close to some of the councils. Uh, it looks like the Arathis lot were close to a patchwork fix. I think was the best. Okay, okay, okay. So you b you really believe that grey mists is where we need to be in that heading? Roughly sort of direction. Yes. Okay. How'd, okay. how'd you find out about that? Yeah, well, listen, and I just sort of like, there's, I've created like a <clears throat> slight dip in my body uh, so that my body feels flat from the front, but inside is the book, just like in like, in like its own <laughs> little like compartment, essentially. A little tummy draw. A little tummy draw, nearly. Oh, that's really neat. Just sort of, they concentrate for a second and <laughs> make, make their own one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's rad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just make it to fit the size of the different <laughs> Yeah, it's good. Like little divots. Like like a pregnant Barbie, you know? Like that yeah. kind of deal. Um, yeah, and I uh, I flip through um, sort of the, the history books and we share a little bit of that backwards and forwards. Um, what are we going to do? We're a bit scattered, so... One headed deep, deep. Uh, Herder went east, Aramiln, Vescott. Uh, so one. Uh, after the dwarves, gods and shit. I don't know. They, yeah. they, like, you know like, they'll do the responsible thing. It's fine. It's fine. They'll look for answers from the gods. Yeah. But I haven't heard much since. Two went to Garen Springs. Okay. okay. Um, they figured out the death thing wasn't working and decided to just make a bunch of bets. That is so too. Yeah. 
Uh, I mean, good for them. They're having a good time. Um, they they said having something about infiltration. Than... Oh, I don't really. I think they're just there to fuck about. Yeah, having a better time than you and I. No. Um. Um. But no, I I I went with five photo aisle. We infiltrated some of the inner councils. It sounds like the Arathus lot were close. Something about the way this thing that connects us it's tethering us to the body. There's nothing here to sort of snip us away. They think there's yeah, a sort I've... of a reaving that will allow the soul to disconnect and the body won't come back. Okay, so I, I've weirdly enough, how many? Mm, don't know how many how many times you died, but I'm. Oh, let's I've, count. Yeah, I'm seeing it actually. The tether. So, yeah, I'm definitely experiencing that myself. Right. Um, yeah. Listen, I just... I'm really, I'm really doing my best to hold strong, and it's really lovely to see you, and it feels so good to, like, you know... Oh, this is is great. Honestly. Um, but I am so tired. You're not tired. I'm so tired. I'm exhausted. But uh, I mean, what about you? How 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 did you end up here? How how close have you gotten? Uh, I mean, so I've been uh, with the cast offs only a few days. I I sort of uh, dealt with one of the deckhands and took the spot when I heard the cast offs were messing about with some some shit. So essentially, I threw myself off a bridge. Okay. Yeah. 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 Um, uh, random Tuesday. I got exploded first. Sorry. Threw myself off a bridge. Sort of met the traveling companions that I've been with. Mm. Um. They're trying to solve... Well, actually. Okay. Um, except for the wooden one. Mm-hmm. Kind of is their fault. They kind of started it. Right. So, I found the source. Uh, and uh, now I'm trying to help them undo that. Um. All we've been able to surmise is... Well, Avon Queen's gone. Yeah. She's off. She's out. I don't, don't know why. No one has a connected plan, and no one knows what's caused it. Dwarves are trying one thing, humans another. The Vile, fuck knows. Yeah. This, as I heard, probably the source, which is why I'm coming, but a couple of the conversations I snuck in with. Uh, there's this, this, uh, this blonde bitch, chatted everything, Look, looked a little bit, like, angry inside. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, um, they, they kind of... They kiss her, mind. but, you know. <laughs> oh. Oh, three. Three fucks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, but I managed to pick up. They the double dipping. Um, oh, yes. Yeah. I've, I've, are you good? <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. Uh, she found pretty upset. Really did a number on her. Yeah. Wow. Uh, uh, you have... Uh, congrats, I guess? No need. Okay. Uh... Look, yeah. I want this gone as much as I do, but the right way. Yeah, yeah. There's there's um, a there's a proper way to go, and I'm I'm really worried. If we die the wrong way, it's not gonna have the knock on effect that yeah. sorts and just. Oh shit! Uh, did you know that the moon is a giant eye and it's crying? Oh yeah. Wait. Oh, you got you got the vision as well. Yeah. Oh, oh what, fuck. What 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 the moon give you? I get and they they suddenly stop and they they hold up like on their pinky is this large ring with a ruby and set and like swirls on the back well uh, so uh, a staff is the answer um what is it? yes exactly where is it uh things are a little complicated with achieving getting the staff so it's gonna have to be a stop on the way home i think right yeah what does yours do uh oh weird gravity shit honestly oh, I just, and like very nice. like clicks the fingers and you float off the floor about 10 feet and then it comes back down yeah, yeah. Um, it's pretty nifty. So, sorry, uh, you ha- you haven't, you've kissed someone, obviously. Yes. Um, but have you, like, m- met someone? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. Purely, um, professional. Right. Information okay. gathering. Um, cool. Yes. No, yeah, anyway, um, cool. Uh. Sorry, are you, are you all right? You seem a little bewildered at that. No, I'm just... Basically, look. I'm finding the connections very s- distressing, and I was hoping that you might have some advice, other than don't have them, which I d- tried and failed at. Are there any of these connections that you value? Unfortunately. How many? 
one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, it's Alexi, isn't it? It is. It is. Girl. Uh, it's Leandra. <laughs> yeah. Obviously. She's the hot one. As tenuous as this existence has been, there have been a couple of good people amongst it, trying to make the best. As misguided as some of them are, um, they're trying to do the right thing. And for what it's worth, maybe that's worth living for, for now. But also, this this sucks. If, if you gave me an option that was clean, I'd jump off this boat right now and take you with me. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, do you want to give it a try? Yeah. Mm. And we jump off the boat and then use <laughs> the gravity thing to like, whoop! Yeah, exactly. That's exactly what we Thank do. you. That's cool, right? Yeah, that's good. Look, I'm really worried whatever the cast are planning, they're trying to replace oh, the Raven Queen. Oh, that is very... A whole other... Mm. Beyond, beyond a peg grid. So... I think your friend's heading into a trap. But it, Yes, yes, always. But Almost always. This sounds like the cleanest normal return to a god of death. <sighs> yeah, I think listen, we're just gonna have to take it as it comes. Um Ostensibly we are on a tight isn't it weird how many times you can say the moon is exploding and nobody reacts? Huh. And you're like, the moon is lit. I don't know how to tell you that millions will die. And they're like, nobody can die anyway. And you're like, I don't the suffering, I don't, un- and they're just like, it'll be it's, fine. It's, it's, a, it's a concept. It's a who's it? It's a what? It's a, it won't matter until it's That's here. It's wild. Yeah. It's wild. What do you think the other lunocratic houses are doing? They're very quiet. Yeah. I think we just got unlucky with the timing. I think they've just shut down shop for yeah a while. There's the one in Air Dusk, which sounded a couple of rendezvous points, but no one's been up there yet. I mean, two was heading that direction. Very two. Mm. Yeah. Practical. Practical. But, Gambling addiction. Yeah. Uh, we. <laughs> I like the fact that Two's had time to develop a gambling addiction <laughs> from being it's alive. It's a genetic. For like it's a genetic seconds. disorder. It's yeah, yeah. Legit. Like legit. Yeah. No. Yeah. No shame. Um. Yeah. Uh. And then I think we we spend a little bit more time comparing experiences, food, drink. Your clothes look a bit shit. I, yeah. I might. I might have something for you. Um. As you're walking, they step into the room. They. Pull out a little bunker. They pull out this this like cloth, so like this half cloak thing. Yeah, but just something to help you along a little bit. And this dying's really your thing. If you want to stop the dying a little bit. Okay, I take it. So what is it? It's a cloak of protection. Wow. I give three a little hug, cause he's my boy. <laughs> just something, all right? Yeah. Till we figure this shit out, and. Probably a fight on our hands, so. Time to get some rest. Good yeah. heavens. Sleeping. Wild. Mm. Dreaming. Insane. Oh, God. Maybe I'll see you t- <laughs> see you tonight? Yeah? 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 Good. All right. I'll see you soon. And yeah. three turns into Captain Moss and, and walks away. There's only one crew member on this ship. <laughs> <laughs> All three. Yeah. Cool. The crowd. Hey! I mean, cast elves are generally oblivious to their serving, <laughs> so it could be feasible. Gosh, so, the staff really do all look the same, don't they? <laughs> it's when three just resorts to just putting on those fake glasses. <laughs> and the moustache. <laughs> and the moustache of the nose, yeah. So just, just to recap, if anyone was taking notes. So one headed into the deep east of Erelest, um, towards Vescott. So the dwarven religious sites to get religious insights. Two went north to Garen Springs. Um, basically wanted to bet on themselves because they are addicted to gambling. Canon. Uh, <laughs> maybe maybe looking for something deeper, but that's the last you heard. Um, three hung with five for a while. Uh, they went to Eridan, the main co- the main capital, which you are currently over top of at the moment. Um, they were working on something with Arathis, and what three explained to you before five screwed it up um, is that they essentially had a harness to sort of magic sort of metal which would essentially sever the soul from the body right, and right prevent that from coming back. Not a true death, but it stops the resurrection stuff. It seems to be keep, kept happening. Um, five tried to immediately steal one of the prototypes to off themselves and was caught. And so uh, five is heading north just to get away. Basically, there's a big block between three and five, and five's just off. And then three sort of got into a couple of meetings, heard a couple of things, 
and snuck under the ship here in the cast tubs might be onto something, which is where we are now. Fab. Cool. Yes. Let's knock on your door. <clears throat> who is it? That's me. <laughs> uh, me who? <laughs> Open the door. Open the door who? <laughs> knock, knock. <laughs> Who's there? I open the door. The door. <laughs> the door who? This person. They'll be doing this for hey. a while. As you, uh, <laughs> Captain Moss walks on, hey. turning back into three as, as, as they go. All right. Mr. Karstoff. How are we doing? Uh, it, it's, 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 been a, it's been a day. Mm. Um, double dipping. Yes. Um, uh, Matt, just speaking for a moment, uh, I got my own law wrong in the last episode. Incredible. Yes. Oh. He has you. so much to There's do. So there much. really is. It's just a name. So any mention of Grumpsh, uh, please replace with Torog. Um, Torog. That is, that is on me entirely for having I too many notes and you. getting something mixed up. Cool. I couldn't have remembered that that was who you had That's mentioned fine. anyway. So you could have been like, yeah, Torog. And I'd have been like, Torog. Torog. I fully yes, told him he should have done that. And he never listened. Yeah. It's too honest. Yeah, I didn't even write. These are my notes for last episode. So this is oh, great. shit on there. <laughs> uh, mine's just the word winkering. Nice. Oh, <laughs> in really nice. Really I completely forgot really about winkering, <laughs> and we're going to move on very swiftly. Once winkered. How would one spell Torog? Uh, T O R O G. Figured. Nope, uh, and in those of you, <laughs> T O E. Those of you paying attention, the same symbol of Torog would have been opposite the Raven Queen. Yeah. On the pillars at the lake, which you spent half the season at. I, I do recall. Um, um, right. Lovely. Um, Torog. Uh, make a religion or a history check. Uh, let's see. <laughs> You know what? Let's go with eyes, David. Uh, we're going to go with history because Alexi likes books. 21. You... About a week before you were banished. Mm. You, you found a, a couple of books in, in the back corner, which sort of detailed just histories of, of, of gods and... and sort of battling back and forth, and that same symbol of the hand flashes to the front of your mind for a, for a moment that you've been you've been witnessing lately. You remember, like, it was about that time when you were reading it quite openly that whispers started to happen and Leandra confronted you. The hand, does it have any similarity to the hand at the bottom of the cast of Oh, it is scarily similar. Cool. Um, Alexi, already quite the porcelain boy. Pales significantly. <laughs> so, um, you seem like a smart lad. Matt says with his ever-changing accent. Uh, you seem like a smart lad. Oh, that would depend entirely upon whom you ask. Well, uh, the, the expedition on your face. Uh -huh. I think your family been serving two masters for quite a while now. And um, my understanding, uh, Torog intends to take over, and mm. your family stands to gain. Wait, no, um. No, no, I'm, I'm, no, I'm, I'm sorry. That, 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 that doesn't make any sense. You, you see, um, we, 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 we are what, what we are mm. because of the Raven Queen. Mm. And, yes. And how faithful has your family been to that Raven Queen? Touche. Um. So, how, how, how long have they? Uh, well, let's put it this way: you keep your contract within the barest possible terms. You receive your rewards in the barest possible terms and maybe you fulfill aspects of that contract with another benefactor this is a hypothesis hypothesis working but suffice to say if your sister and your brother and her brother get their way there'll be a bad time Good time for me. I can I can pop off and go, which I'm sure Four would love that too. But right, um, la, f f forgive me. Last time I spoke to the Raven Queen, I, I rather got the vibe that she wouldn't be overly um mm, chill with that. Oh no, no, not at all. Right, and she's but gone. She was keen for you to do better than your family, right? Yes. Do you think that means by sort of a spot of g g genocide? Of the cast apps. <laughs> Myla and Tupa. Um, I don't know if that's what she was intending, but 
I think... I think this is probably what she meant, right? She probably knew that your family had been... Phoning it in? Phoning it in and had... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know either. Oh, uh, 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 a, a phone is a particular um, uh, implement people use in, in, in Coalhaven for farming. It, it, it takes away a lot of the labour. Anyway... <laughs> Sorry. Both just like, wow. <laughs> Inspiration. Uh, so. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Yeah, you can have that one. You Thanks. Yep, yeah, good. So you need it. He's a good boy. When, we have, when she said that you should, you could be the, the person she sort of originally intended the cast abs to be, right? Yeah, um, of a sort. Something like that? Something like that. It was, it was very bright and it was very loud. Uh, and it was sort of in my ear, but in my head at the same time. Disconcerting. I mean, I wasn't there. You just relayed all of this roughly to me afterwards. So, um, but maybe this is what she was talking about. Maybe she wanted someone to come in and fully, what did you say? Like fully something, the contract? Fulfill. Fulfill. Adhere to uh, Ad d Sign. Uh, supplement, I think. But a new benefactor. I think the Raven, Raven Queen wouldn't mind getting out if she was still around. So it seems like there's a vacuum where that power used to be. And a family waiting to take that on. Do you think we can bring her back? I don't know. No one knows where she came from. There's very little solid work evidence. And yes, there are books and musings on that. I'm not there. I'm in another room. Oh, sorry. So you I was just going to be like, I showed you a book with yes. some things about that earlier. Um, your wooden friend had his hand up. Oh, no. that I had several questions, but they have all been answered in due course. I'm glad this was a, a learning experience. <laughs> May I open this now? <laughs> the box that was stolen. Yes, yes, of course, of course. <laughs> right, you were, you were rather adamant that <laughs> I don't earlier. I would... It might be quite upsetting. This box is full of snakes! <laughs> <laughs> would you like me to read it? I would do it in the most relaxing voice. Hell yeah. Something tells me that might be more terrifying. No, no. It would be relaxing. I have it on very good authority. I can read it. I think I need to do this. Okay. And he opens the box. Cool. Fucking snakes. <laughs> <laughs> Pandora's box. And another no. purple wave comes out. Oh, it's been simmered on that. Snakes. <laughs> this whole time. Am I to examine a phone, Why is it Matthew? hissing? Don't open it from that end. <laughs> There's a snake in my box. You recognize the writing of your father. Yep. <laughs> Sorry, he would also be reading this a lot. Sure, 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 sure. <laughs> no, you're having it conveyed to you telepathically. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, well, yeah, yeah, honestly, the production value is insane. Um, Leandra. Getting the implants Related sucked. To Leandra. I await your visit in the next few days. I thank you for your service. Uh, time seems to be starting to take over. I do not believe this introduction of the gauntlet is the right way forward, and I wish to discuss this further with you, as I am still in some way, head of household. I trust you will allow this to continue. If we do not speak again, I understand you are mad with me, then I will understand, but please, I wish this meeting to be somewhat civil. I regret your decision to remove your brother, and I understand the opportunity it has given us since, with that recent return, that we deal with this like adults. I await in Garen Springs for your visit and hope we can resolve this matter peacefully. My old age has shown me much and I believe it prudent that perhaps we return to our ways of the Raven Queen and stop seeking more power than what we already have. Father. You look at the letter and you read it a couple of times and Lit is dated about six months ago. Make an investigation check for me, please. Advantage, because I may always book. Weird. 
which was very much needed for that. Uh, 18, please. Cool. 18, you, you look at it and you're looking at the box. The box was covered in dust. The box had not been touched in a very, very long time. And this letter had never been opened. It was never sealed because the way these letters work, it had never needed to be opened or looked at. But It had been ignored. It had been completely ignored. <clears throat> uh, after a few moments of silence, Alexi will hand the letter to Milo with a kind of... What, what, what am I supposed to do? Look. We 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 we've we've um uh, we've we've es- established that speaking to her is a terrible uh, uh, idea, but I don't know. I don't know what to do. Would you like some help with that, please? <laughs> hmm. It is a quandary. Yes. What are your options? Uh, I I can confront her about my exile, um, about what she's doing, what 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 she's ordered. Uh, I I I can um, try and find my father, see if he has any influence that can still be of use. But I I I doubt it. it Leah's smart enough to have already worked him out of any any pocket of favour he still had, especially if they weren't disagreeing. Or we try and improvise a way of taking her out permanently. Of those three options, I feel that I have an emotional investment in at least one. (laughs) (laughs) But I feel that that is not an appropriate learning experience. But I feel right now you seem to have already... You have come so far on the belief that you are not part of your family, or that you are part of your family, and you do not wish to be, or you wish to be, but are not currently. I am confused. I... I am confused. (laughs) I have been confused. I, I forgot something, and now I am confused. Sorry, this is not about me. Oh, no, I I, I do not wish to impede on your moment. Please do enjoy. I will save this for later. All right, I'll be here. But what do you want? Do you want to see your father? Do you want to confront your sister? Or do you want me to hit her with the hammer again? (laughs) I want to... I want to confront the person that has made my life a living hell. Shall I fetch four? (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> Why? No reason. <laughs> you refer to the worst day of my life recently. In fact, yesterday. And today. I believe today. Today. today, same day. It's t- and I'm still quite hungover. <laughs> I am confused. I have lost track of time. <laughs> yes, I forgot something and I lost track of time. Try being hungover. <laughs> I would like to try. I would lose my shit. I would like to try being hungover. (laughs) That would be intriguing. I am still afraid of termites. (laughs) But if if you want to drink again, I'm in. But but you mentioned that it was because of four that it was the worst day of your life. Oh no! And because of mine and four's actions, you decided it was the worst day of your life, despite the fact that you seem to have some sort of resolution between yourself and Milo. So this has been an interesting experience for all of us. Yes, I rather did say that. If I, if I could. Hello. Sorry. sorry. Hello. Three. <laughs> um, throughout this time, by the way, Myla has been sort of ignoring what you're saying, and she's looking at the letter, sort of doing that, and then looking back at it again and again. 
Sorry, go ahead. No, no, no. I don't mean to put too fine a point. I appreciate this is difficult. Um, as far as I can tell, your family seeks to replace the Raven Queen. Now, through their own means, this could be better or worse for society, and you may not care. And it's good for me, but if there's one thing I've learned in the past couple of weeks of sucking of existence. Honestly, it's been the worst. Um, You're welcome. I want to... <laughs> I want to go out the right way. You kissed him. And and that's a pretty blonde girl in Eridan. <laughs> um, spoke a lot like you. And she told me that since her father died, a power grab was imminent in the next couple of weeks by that one, gesturing to the other end of the ship. Now, we're going into a trap. I'm going to see it through. You can make your break and escape now, or we can see this through and try and end this thing that you've been wanting to deal with for such a long time now, because it's not good for people at large, and there's at least two people now that I give a shit about. Um, this uh, a blonde w woman you met. Mm -hmm. She wasn't called Hazelmere, was she? A great kisser. Okay. Did she explode? No. Huh. Yeah, it's not everyone. This is an interesting point. Hazelmere is my sister. I'm aware. My father's dead. I'm afraid so. Unless she was lying. If your family does a lot of that. He just sits down where he is. I'm sorry. So that drops our choices to two. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know why I care. Uh, he, uh, I thought they all wanted me gone, and it turns out he didn't. And and I wanted to. I, I was already thinking about what I was going to write to him. Might all come sit next to him on the bed and sort of put a hand on his shoulder. We have to finish this. Well, my condolences. Um, get some rest. I'll find you in the morning. We'll come up with a plan. Uh, if we're staying this out, we're in for a bumpy ride. Your other sister. Who I haven't kissed. Um. Oh, okay. <laughs> see, see. Uh, seems to think we can fly this through the seasonal change. So, it's going to be a bumpy ride. Are we going to be able to? Captain Moss is good. We've got a chance. <laughs> and I am Captain Moss, so... <laughs> 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 Don't worry for the, about for the, for the avoidance of confusion... Three is not Captain Moss. Captain Moss is a real person. Um, is there anything we could do to help? <laughs> we'll ask around tomorrow. Okay. But get some rest tonight. Good night. Refill those spell slots! And three turns into Leandra and turns around and walks out the door. <laughs> <laughs> it just farts a little bit on the way. <laughs> Crop <Brutal. laughs> Sorry. <laughs> he says as if he is sorry even a little. <laughs> there, there. Perhaps you should write that letter anyway. I am going to go and hit things with a hammer. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, I'm in my court. <laughs> <laughs> best, best not to draw uh, uh, any more unnecessary attention. No, no, the attention I draw will be entirely necessary. <laughs> we'll go and we'll take a bit of metal and stuff. We'll start hammering out two very small legs. Okay. <laughs> um, are you cool? Go for it. Are you are you avoiding a long rest? Are you going to oh. do this through the night? Are you because you will not get your spell slots back? You won't get exhaustion because you are a construct. Yeah. But that is that is that is up to you. If you want to avoid spell slots and do this, you can do one or the other. I won't let you do both. Choices, choices. I'm just going to talk to Jenny while. Okay. Hi. Hey, how's it going? 
I want to hug. <laughs> <laughs> I want to, Leandra. Of course. <laughs> What's Leandra up to? Um, I she's fuming mm. currently because of the uh, previous interaction with <laughs> four. I think she's still pretty miffed about that. Um, but also begrudgingly respectful. Um, <laughs> yeah, I think she's just she doesn't want to deal with them anymore today. She she just. She wants a bubble bath. Literally. And some rosé and to be yeah. left alone. Yeah. Cool. And to just throw some breakable things at walls. Yes. Which <laughs> and whichever do. staff may be in the room. That's you draw a bath, you favorite. smash a vase, yeah. you have some wine, and you go to sleep. Sounds good. Okay. Cool. Anything else? Reese, what, what would you like to do? Um, mm. Yeah. Three. It's just going to be... Um, uh, it'll be a long rest. Okay. People are going to need healing, I assume. Good. <laughs> cool. Without issue, you take your long rests and the evening goes on. If there's anything anyone else would like to do. I think that me and three end up laying in bunks next to each other. <laughs> just so that it's like as reminiscent of the bath. Just yeah. both, both lying perfectly, like <laughs> flat. <laughs> Just pour some water over the vessel. Yeah. Might have been. Do you want me to tuck you both in? Um. Ha- have you been tucked in before? Oh. Yeah, go on. Yeah, okay. Myla Just, will, just like really will, still. <laughs> Myla will, will, will tuck in and sing her little Phil Varel lullaby as she does it. This is great. <laughs> <laughs> right. It's the only thing worth living for. <laughs> Milo's okay too. Yeah, Milo's fine. Yeah. <laughs> Bang, <Cool>. average Milo. <laughs> <laughs> did you want to roll a stealth check? Uh, I did. Yeah, uh, Alexi is also going to follow to his advice and write a letter. Sure. To his dad. Cool. Uh, but when he's finished with that, he's going to do the other thing that we talked about. Great. Stealth. Stealth. Uh, it is a 15. Milo got that passive perception. Hell yeah. Very much. <laughs> Do you want to give some preamble for this? Or? No, I guess this is all good. I assume she's just like... Uh, at one point, <laughs> you would catch him trying to sneak it into her pack. She will. She will have watched you write the entire thing. Seen exactly what's written on it, yeah, and then and just be like, honk shoo, honk shoo, snog me, me, me. <laughs> Literally, yeah, yeah. yeah. She, the loudest she's, trance ever. Yeah, she's <laughs> she's just sort of like, she's just like, do, 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 do. She's maybe getting Cyril to do some little like loops around her fingers or something. Cool. Like. <clears throat> yep, and when that is done, uh, it's not a sleepless night, but it's a fitful sleep. You're sure. not like it, 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 this is emotional time. It's 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 a rough night. It's the worst day of his life. It it is the worst day of your mm. life, and you toss it. And once you've woken up, maybe the third time, you you do notice there is a a little blue squirrel has curled up next to you though, and trying to keep you from squirming too much. And a tiny stowing, owl, I imagine. Stowing yes. nuts in its mouth. And yes. <laughs> also sleeping piece. Oh yes, uh, the owl now has a name. Uh, the owl is called Nyx. That's great, man. And you all successfully complete your long rest. Yay! Woo. And Reese doesn't level up because I'm not quite that not quite that mean. So but no. Milo okay. does. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Cool. But to be honest, I'm okay with it. Yeah. Can I actually have his dad's level? <laughs> <laughs> like Highlander? No, no, it's not. It can be only one. Uh, Got it. Yeah. So Leandra. <laughs> yeah. Not Leandra. Uh, cool. Obviously, Hazelman. Um, excuse me, definitely not. <laughs> <laughs> the next morning comes, and you 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 awake to the sounds of, of an animal being dragged out of the menagerie towards Leandra's oh, quarters. No. Um, you also smell a little bit of cooking on the boat as, as well. Um, cheap breakfast. What would the party <laughs> like to do? Myla is going to leap up. She won't be asleep because she'll have only slept for like <laughs> um, four hours anyway. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, 
she's going to hear the, sound, the sounds of this happening and being like, nope, I can't, nope, 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 <laughs> and just be up and like striding towards where the, wherever this animal is. Okay, cool. Let's do <laughs> that. Gonna That's going to be fun. Uh, Lexi will drag himself out of bed, still probably doing the whole just lying on his side, eyes open thing, and follow. Cool. The two of you walk out to see a couple of deckhands with, with a, a small baby rhinoceros sort of like scratching away, <laughs> trying to like drag back Love a little bit. in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> Smells like victory? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> or rhino. Hi. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning. What are your names? Uh, I'm Tallow. <laughs> we, we don't get names, <laughs> miss. I'm um, Tallow. This is Folly. <laughs> <laughs> that is apt. Um, could you put that rhino back, um, please? Uh, miss Leandra demanded it. I'm very sorry. I'm gonna ask you really nicely. Uh, just I'm afraid she's much scarier than you are, Miss. I'm gonna keep doing my job if uh, that's okay. Sorry, can make me offer a small bit of advice? Uh, yes, uh, Mr. Carstone. Lord, uh, <laughs> make a persuasion check. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. <sir>. Eight. <laughs> Is that with the minus two? Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Castor, respectfully, uh, Leandra is the one that decides not to kill us, uh, or didn't kill. You know what I mean. Uh, so we've yes, um, through. Sorry, uh, you, you, you you misunderstand. Uh, what I'm currently trying to do is uh, save you from being thrown off a ship. Okay, intimidation with advantage, <laughs> or you can both roll individually. Which is better, we both roll terribly. Let's just both roll terribly then. Oh, well, good. The DC is 14. Nope. 17. Nice. No, I really don't like heights. Yeah, no, you're right. You're right. Yeah, cool. I'll tell you what. We'll make this easier. And Myla is going to turn into a baby rhinoceros. I knew oh. this was going to happen immediately. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. I want your dinner to slightly what? transform what? into a girl, and um, you're like, ah, oh, fuck. I, I, mm. Alexi, aware that yes, um, mm. but are you sure? Girl. Well, girl I'm going dinner. with you then. <laughs> I don't know if that's a yes or a no. <laughs> right, okay, um, um, shall we at least get the others? Okay, right, this is this is a shit-eating grin from a rhino. <laughs> um, <laughs> is it just like a big lip, like lifting yeah, up with some teeth in the front? <laughs> the rhino's going to have a fun time, I think. <laughs> Fine. Fine, okay, right, I, 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 I'm coming. Um, um, Milo, Milo's going to have, like, looped herself in. What, how, how are they dragging this rhino? Oh, by, like, the, the haunches, like, both an arm. Yeah, like, yeah. the rhino's, like, dragging, yeah, definitely. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. yeah, so Milo's going to be sort of, like, m like, move herself into... Into position with them, and be like, mm -hmm. great. <laughs> uh, Alexa will be like, I'm coming as well. <laughs> <laughs> Not negotiable. <laughs> You'll give it away. <laughs> okay. Oh, I have a rhino, by the way. Yeah, I was going <laughs> to ask if you, had, if you had a minute. I do. Meanwhile. Uh, Leandra, you are currently in your your private dining dining room. Yeah, I got it. Thanks. Bless you, bless. Yeah, Thank I'm you. preparing preparing to eat. You've you've mm. got like, uh, what are you wearing at the moment? Silk you... kimono. Oh yeah. Yeah. What is what is your eating uh, attire Lots look of, like? Like silk, um, like silk. Uh... The 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 dressing gown that says. Oh, sir, my husband's just died in a terrible accident. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Off one shoulder. Yeah, yeah. To yeah. reveal the silk camisole beneath. Yeah. Yeah, I love it. Cigarette yeah. in the holder. <laughs> Offensively yeah, yeah, long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Small, circular, like Lady Gaga sunglasses in there yeah. as well with the sun streaming in just a yeah. little bit. Yeah, good. Go on, exactly. Me um, Nothing could make me forget my husband, <laughs> except maybe his younger brother. Oh. <laughs> 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 uh, Sorry. Just have my own thing over here. Yum. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. I wonder how this is going to play Gen out. Jenny is vegan, which is, this is just great. Oh, it's a ham vegetarian. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great time, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> cool. Um, you here? Come in. Uh, in walks a very flustered looking Captain Moss. Uh, my, my lady, my lady, I'm, I, I, I'm, I'm terribly, terribly, terribly sorry. I'm, I must, I must advise once again. We are about to head into a large storm system. Are we absolutely? Yes, I know. You've told me multiple times. I, 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 I understand. Boss. I just, I just think you need to. We need to press on. How many more times do I have to tell you? 
Very good. Um, may I please requisition the deckhands to at least maintain the ship Fine. for the day? Um, Fine. And your guests, counterparts, adversaries, your brother, <laughs> they um, may be able to lend a hand as well, potentially. I don't know how much help they'll be, but sure. Very good, very good. I, I'll get out of your hair. This, and it's at this point that the baby hippo is... Are you, are you Rhino. 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 Rhino, my apologies. The baby <laughs> Rhino is, is dragged in um, with Alexi following in behind. And you catch just the tail end of this this conversation. Um, very good. Well, uh, oh, ah, there we go. And Alexi's here uh, somewhere. There he is. <laughs> Thank you. I'm enjoying the, the foley. Very yeah, good. Literally yeah. the only reason I played a druid is because my one talent in this life is doing animal noises. <laughs> cool. And you catch the end of this conversation. Uh, that are the, the you on the list of 100 best women in tech, actually? <laughs> that the ship may not quite be ready for the journey it's about to face tomorrow. Um, right. Very good. Um, okay. I will let them... Uh, minute, um, with the cast off and Moss begins to walk Lord. out. My, uh, Myla is appropriately struggling. You. But Must not, you not much. ruin my breakfast? Really? By standing here? <laughs> yes, by being in my presence. Uh, well, um, I, 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 I needed to talk, talk, talk. Can't it wait me. until after I've eaten? Uh, well, no, no. Um, it, it's sort of well. Um, you, you know, I, I was, I wanted to ask about the 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 the, the ga- ga- gauntlet p- people things that. Hands, right. What about them? Where, where, what, what's, what's happening? I, I, they have the abilities I have. With the the Raven Queen, gave mm-hmm. me, uh, uh, gave us. Uh, how? I, I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> you have to make something up. <laughs> but is this something she would know? Or not? There was there was research left behind. Is is going to be the best way to put that. I can't say more than that without big spoilers, sorry. Uh, Myla's going to try and escape from her handler. Okay. <laughs> Kick ass! Immediately while this discussion is going on, the, the baby rhinoceros immediately sort of breaks free um, and starts... Oh, I'm going to start trashing this room. Just, just baby rhinoceros. Oh, for rhino God's rhino. sake! Can you not just keep an animal in control? Crash. How incompetent crash. are you? <laughs> All I, I wanted gonna, was to eat my breakfast. In I am going to gore every nice looking wooden thing I can find with that horn. Alexia stood in the center of the room of Leandra, looking remarkably calm about what's happening. Yes, it's almost like it was a terrible choice of breakfast. <laughs> you know I'm just not the same until I've had my rhino. <laughs> you Don't know talk it's to my me favorite <laughs> until I've had my rhino. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, fun idea. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll help you kill it when we've had our discussion. And we can share it. It'll be a bonding experience. Okay, well, I mean, it's rather distracting having it just running around loose. Oh, oh yes. yes. <laughs> two two deckhands immediately jump and try to try to grab. Are you going to resist or are you going to keep trash in the place? Oh, it. Oh. Miles gonna get the rhinos just take a big shit on the floor. <laughs> Alex is gonna look at them and go, it's a long way down. <laughs> <laughs> it's a terribly long way down. What what are you doing? Why? Think, Have you frozen? I think that maybe They're both very scary. Maybe it's time that you should go on a break. Don't you think you've earned a break? Excuse me. Uh don't you think you've earned a break? Have a Kit Kat. <laughs> <laughs> Other chocolate nice. bars are available. Um, okay. <laughs> we. Are you just attempting to persuade, or are you trying to cast something with this? No, he's just he's just trying to tell some people to get out of dodge before it goes down. All right. I need both of you to please make persuasion checks. Or intimidation. Or intimidation, your choice, whichever is greater. No, something me this bad. Ah. Sixteen. Uh, twenty-eight. 
very intimidating. I rolled very high. <laughs> they immediately descend and attempt to grab you, Myla, and one of them tries to actually catch the shit as it comes out. And I'm sorry, like catches it in their shirt and tries to. Oh it no! no. <laughs> stop! Doesn't stop coming. <laughs> Oh, this might be my. What are we feeding this thing? Favorite day <laughs> she's ever had. She's <laughs> all backed up. She's just Ma'am? Oh, like, please, and the other one jumps in and also starts like loading up. <laughs> what oh, are we feeding this thing? Cool. Uh, my, 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 the my, smell of manure just <laughs> fills the room. My Linoceros is going to nice. head over uh, to Alexi as much as she can and start like trying to nudge him out the room. <laughs> Funnily enough, I've lost my appetite and she's <laughs> going to, um, she's going to whip out her, she has a crossbow, right? Yeah, got a little hand crossbow, yeah, sure. she's going to whip that out from nowhere. <laughs> she Alexi. just always has it on her person yep. and aim straight at the rhino's head. Yeah, that's fine. Alexi will do as my Laura Sonoris <laughs> <laughs> wishes. Okay. Uh, and also just go to the servant like, I, I am just trying to be nice. You might believe me. Still holding the big shirts full of shit, uh, ma'am. I had to get rid of it. Uh, I don't yes, want good. To be and here. gone, gone. <laughs> and another deck hand immediately comes in and sweeps it up and disappears again just as quickly. Cool. It is just the two of you, Myla. Uh, Leandra is pointing a hand crossbow at your head. I'm going to stand outside the door that and wait. That is absolutely fine. Captain Moss is gone. The rhino suddenly sort of, you know, looks looks like it's uh like it's it's just sort of like, oh, okay, I've done uh, done what I came here to do. And it's just gonna chill and stare at you. There's a dumb face that sort of looks at you, the tongue comes out a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> um takes another shit. <laughs> <laughs> no. Tell me, would she uh, she's always going to prefer to eat something when it's alive, right? Oh, absolutely, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But it's, it's not still edible when it's dead. Yeah, well, it is, but, but it just, just it doesn't taste as good. good. Yeah, yeah. It's fresh versus frozen, right? Yeah, it's just stupid rhinos pissing me off. Um, it's a lot of it, pal. <sighs> she's just gonna. She's gonna. I didn't even hear what you said. She's just gonna go in and try and bite. Okay. The rhino is not going to do anything. Are you going to let this happen? Yep. Make a constitution saving throw. Um, now. Oh, God. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, she's got the constitution of a rhino. Yes. Um, now, rhinos <laughs> are technically much more of a challenge rating than I can manage, but I assume a baby rhino, baby rhino is rhino, that's fine. why I'm allowing it. So, uh, in which case, I'm going to just halve all of its stats. Does that seem about right? What, what's what's the what's the plus it's got? It's got plus two to constitution. Okay, we'll just give yourself a plus one then. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah that yeah, was yeah. what I was sort of thinking. Yeah, yeah, I was yeah, like, cool. yeah. Because she's lost her appetite, but she doesn't want to waste food. Thirteen. Cool. Um. Okay. One moment, please. Call. It's very odd that uh, the rhino stares uh, you dead uh, in the uh, eye as this yeah, happens. Yeah, it's a bit weird. <laughs> I've had right. worse. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright. Uh, you fail your constitution save mm -hmm. and you drink your fill. How much health does the rhino, baby rhino, have? 22. Okay. I need you to roll 3d6. 18. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, no oh, worries. sorry. 5d6. God fucking damn it. Yeah. No, no, that was, my, I, that was me doing bad math. I had four for some reason, I put it down to three because I'm. Five is an asshole. 19. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Staggering, panting, you collapse on the side, but you remain a baby rhinoceros. You hear a collapse, a heavy thud on the floor. Yep. Four. That sounds like a baby rhinoceros. <laughs> <laughs> Funny enough, I thought it was a hippo, but you're right. You're right, it is. Very distinct. Um, yeah, it's, the, it's the scrape of the horn, I think. It, it tastes like rhino. <laughs> is the... Yeah, I was going to say, does it taste like a normal to her? Yep. 
But she's also, she's a bit sus of the fact that it was just like standing there staring her in the eyes. You can make it. it just takes is a huge there, shit. can I do like. Do you want to make an insight check <laughs> yeah, on that? I you do. can. Do a different I will say, you're doing it after you've drunk, so you can make it with disadvantage. Yeah. Oh no. Has <laughs> it got a thing in it? It's got another dice inside. So the rolls too. What? That was so That's so cool. cool. I know, I was looking at it earlier. Uh, 13. Yeah, it's cute. That's this real. is a real just brave rhinoceros as far as you can tell. Okay, interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Gain respect for the rhinoceros. <laughs> One respect per game. <laughs> what happens next? Ring a bell and someone comes to yeah. Pick, yeah. and gets the broom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess. Two deckhands run up past with broom and yeah, sweep, she just drag. Swag. You see Alexi looking through the doorway as the rhinoceros is taken away. As the rhino goes past Alexi, it's going to look up at him and grin again. <laughs> 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 he gives it a look. It's just being like dragged. <laughs> 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 She's just like, eh. <laughs> Come on then, let's have this chat. You enter the room and the tension that's been there since the start sits for a moment. You knowing a lot more than you did 12 hours ago. And as you stare your sister down, unsure of where your mental state currently is, we're gonna take a break. <laughs> I was going to say, she's just going to stare him straight in the eyes and just wipe the blood from her mouth. We'll be right back. Uh, we're about to announce the winner of the Hero Forge vouchers. So <laughs> don't go anywhere. We'll see you in a second. Bye. Bye. Beep, beep, beep. And hey, we're back already. Hello. G'day. It's Matt from the future. Whoa. Whoa. Uh, yeah. So we've got a lovely list of names here. Thank you so much to everyone that signed up. Uh, I'm going to throw it this way. Yeah, so um, as you remember, we had a £50 Hero Forge giveaway for if you were on our Discord. So the wonderful, my wonderful assistant, Reese Lawton, Hello. Uh, is going to roll a d20. And helpfully, uh, the, the names and numbers line up Hopefully perfectly. it's your number. Hopefully Ooh. it's your number. Reese, reveal the number. It's one of my favourites, 16. And our survey says? Survey says... Rhubarb. Hey! Rhubarb. Hey! Rhubarb. Right here. There well are done, buddy. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Rhubarb. Uh, Rhubarb, thank you so much. We'll be in touch. We'll hit you up on the Discord. And thank you everyone else who signed up. Uh, keep an eye out. There'll be plenty more coming your way soon. And now, back to the show. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, tell them about the future crimes. Hello. It's us again. Sasha and David. Wrong way. <laughs> Ah, hello! <laughs> You're here! Ah, I was not expecting this, even You're though here. I was counted down! We're here! <laughs> and we're here to talk about Patreon. We have one. It's amazing. Yes. You know what we also have that's amazing? There's a Discord channel. There There's is a, a Discord, Discord channel. channel. Server. There's a whole Discord. That, that's one it. One whole Discord. There's a ch I like how, um, you know, like when we play, I'm order and you're chaos, but whenever we do this, you're order and I'm chaos. It's lovely. Yeah, that's because I... I'm a businesswoman. Yes, David. and I'm insane. Yeah. There's also going to be bonus content. There's going to be content that you couldn't get access to at the same time before, but now you can. Ooh. That made sense. How many takes has it been? <laughs> and yeah, there's just going to be loads of extra bits and pieces, some behind the scenes stuff. Um, anything that we do will probably pop up on there first. So yeah, go check it out. Sash, what else do we have to see? Matt, stop laughing. <laughs> so if you're looking forward to just finding out a bit more about what we're doing behind the scenes, Helping us keep Matt stocked with hats, keep the padlocks on his cage. He needs so many hats. Oh, so many hats. But yeah, come check it out. We'll see you there. Oh, Bye. and thank you so much for all your love and support. <laughs> I'm saying it before Matt yells at me again. Really clenched it there, buddy. Really clenched it. Right. Bye, kids. <laughs> And welcome back. Before the break, our party finally took a long rest. But not before more conversations took place, with three explaining the whereabouts of Force compatriots. A conversation left you feeling not settled, but at least knowing that your siblings, I suppose, were in 
similar situations to you and that I'm not the failure sibling and honestly it was fucking close there okay <laughs> a situation was nearing resolution and that five really does suck yeah <laughs> five, <man. laughs> meanwhile three explained to Alexei and handing over a, a six month old letter unopened sent from his now deceased father to Leandra pleading to settle a peaceful resolution and perhaps retake up their responsibility to serve the Raven Queen faithfully. Upon, a learning, upon learning of his father's demise, Alexei went to Leandra with confrontation, conversation in mind, with Myla also heroically transforming herself into a baby rhinoceros uh, to save otherwise innocent livestock. And Leandra none the wiser now well fed, we sit alone in a room with Lady Karstav and Mr. Karstav. Lord. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not. Staring each other down. What happens next? Pa, 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 pa. Uh, it'll write that. Oh. Mm. How, how was it? I've not had. Um... R- rhinoceros. Baby rhinoceros. Oh, while. yes, well, if anything more juicy than an adult full grown rhinoceros, really? yes. And, and that one was perfectly uh, palatable? Yes. Fascinating. Why wouldn't it be? I mean, it was rather off putting having just shit itself quite majorly just beforehand, but. Mm. Still streaks all over the floor. It's... I don't like to waste food, you know, so I just. And I was hungry. I rather thought you'd maybe gotten lost on your way to the privy. So, what did you want to talk about? Uh, well, well, two things, uh, actually. Uh, remarkably quickly, um, you know, bu- busy. I've got a lot of things I need to do. Um, so, uh, uh, these these gauntlets, uh, people. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, uh, they can do what I can do. Yes, it's... So... <laughs> When I banished you, (laughs) fun time. Obviously, a lot of your research, your books, your things were left behind, and so we had a gander at them. Fascinating. Uh, So so the the very thing that you uh, deemed me worthy of uh, exile for, uh, you, you then made use of? Yes, well, I thought... I might as well before I burnt them all. Excellent. And how, how did you deal with the um, arcane topography? I had someone help me. It hmm. was fine. I'm just curious because, well, it, it seemed, uh, well, if it took me over a hundred years, uh, having some. Well, it might have taken you over a hundred years. <laughs> well, Wasn't then. Quite that long for me. <laughs> oh, so it was you yourself that did it? Mostly, yes. Really? Well, I don't have all the time in the world to be sat there looking at books all day. Right, except it is mostly uh, I- I- intellectual as a pursuit. So I- I'm just Yes, curious. so I didn't struggle. Right. Um, only I left a-, a lot of it sort of hidden. Okay. <laughs> well, I found it and I had help. I got someone to help me. Oh, as uh, I say, I was very busy. I don't have my time, all the time in the world you, you, to be sat here reading it all. You found my h- hiding place beneath the desk? Yes. Well, of course, I stripped the entire room. Of course I did. Of course. Yes. Ah, silly me. You should have known that. Yes. Actually, uh, really. I wasn't going to let all of you just leave your room as it were. Hmm. It's a gym now. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Fantasy Peloton. I'm, <laughs> and you know what, Leah? I'm, yeah, I fantasy. must say, I'm so very proud of you for finally doing something about that figure. <laughs> Same can't be said for you, unfortunately. Yeah, well. Duh. The X card on the fat shaming. Yeah, that's, that's... <laughs> My bad. It's okay. Uh, I. I wanted to. We, we, we haven't... 
things aren't We don't. We, we we don't we don't we don't have to do this, you know. Uh, every talk. We, I would love to not talk to you. No, yes. we don't have to be like this. It's been a hundred and fifteen years. Yes, I'm well aware. We, we can actually try and be like a normal family, you know. <laughs> I don't strive to be normal, Alexi. I, bless you, strive to be great. We don't have to hate each other. I never said I hated you. I don't like you particularly. We can try and get along. Emphasis on try. I will try. So that he just narrows his eyes for a moment and then walks out. Unless stopped. Well done, trying there. <laughs> There's a lot I feel that I'm sorry about what I said about how you look. Oh well I've always been perfect, so it didn't hurt at all. Right, you understand that that's not particularly helping the whole Yes, we all look perfect. We're cast outs. It's the point. <laughs> exactly. So. Anyway, I'm going to go get ready for the, for the day. So if you wouldn't mind just giving me some privacy. Thank you. Uh, best of luck. For getting ready. I, mm. I do it every day. Thank you. No. And he leaves. Make a constitution saving throw. Mm. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Even before that happened. Uh, 21. Okay. Maths. Not my strong A few point. minutes after Alexi leaves, you suddenly feel a tightening in your stomach. Oh, no. And your insides begin to erupt a little bit. And you manage to catch yourself quickly enough that you manage to hold it down, but blood begins to trickle from your mouth, from your nose, and suddenly you almost feel like this evaporation as you feel less... Full, and you wipe the bit of blood off and it just slowly vanishes and you are hungry again Milo what are you up to uh, of course I'm in the menagerie um, and uh, yeah she's uh, she's gonna she'll have waited until the um, the guards have have gone and then she's gonna pop back to Milo and she's uh, just gonna inspect what's What's this place like? What's going on in this menagerie? About two stories of cages. All manner of, of different animals. Uh, you see lions, polar bears, there's a crocodile sort of like sitting to the side which hisses you just a little bit. You see the mother rhinoceros which looks very confused at just seeing the baby rhinoceros come oh, and turn when, into the So pool. when she'd have come in as baby rhinoceros, yeah. presumably she'd have just been like... What up? Don't worry, I... I kept them safe. Um, in rhymes. Yes. Um, cool, yeah, as the crocodile hisses her, she's going to just like back at it as well. Um, do they look sort of healthy? Do they... No, I mean, they, they look fed, but yeah. small cages kept for, for function. It's more to cram as many things in here as, as possible. Cool. Hay, water, rotten fish. Like any, any like the, the cheapest possible protein to maintain. These creatures. It looks like it's been built to maybe last for a couple of weeks, mm -hmm. and stores are starting to run a little bit low. But you notice that cages are none are empty, but the few that are the quietest, you see animals just barely managing to contain or survive themselves. Cool. Are there any squirrels? There are no squirrels. Are there any wolves? Uh, make an investigation check. Uh, thirteen. You you do see one grey wolf. Um, uh, juvenile, maybe it's definitely not full grown, but sort of sits there, quite nervous, sort of backs up a little bit, yellow eyes look back, ears drop, ears down, looks very scared. I know. I won't let anything happen to you, okay? Dry blood around the around the neck a little bit. Um, she will uh, reach out to it and go for a friend and cast healing word on it. Cool. It 
shakes a little bit and stands up. The ears perk up a little bit. Still, still a bit wary. Sort of backs up, but not as worried. Well, I can't do this every time she's hungry. What are we going to do? And while you ponder, she's going to sit like cross-legged in the middle of the room. <laughs> Three walks in. Mm-hmm. The deckhand comes in. Nice. Right, good morning. Good morning, Where deckhand. Where are the others? Oh, sorry. Hold <laughs> 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 ah, you. Uh, 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 uh. I turn into three. Oh, uh, I turn into four. Uh, 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 I turn into five. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> so. I <turn> into four. <laughs> Wait, who's the real? <laughs> Don't shoot me on the real one. Um, yeah. Good. This is our favorite game. It's the only game that there is. <laughs> Who is four really? Though, yeah. Did, did that, yeah. Right. Um, where, where, are, where are your friends? Uh, I believe tutorials at the forge. I believe he's not at the forge. He's here. Yes. <laughs> Hello. Good morning. Um, and the other two, I think we're interrupting breakfast with our guests. I believe that was the aim. Well, we can't die, but I'd rather not get kicked off before we. Yeah. Are. All right. Uh, well, great. So, how long have we got till it hits? Another day or so. And word on the okay. ship is that well. The mistress is pushing on no matter what. I understand. Yeah, our, I, our arrival is imperative. I kind um, of think that. Right. The boat could use some maintenance to prepare, and Captain Moss has asked the deckhands to. The deckhands, yeah, okay. To pitch in, sure. yes, look. Would you like some help with that? I, I mean, I would. That's part of the plan. If we can get them on side, and. Well, we can either get there safely, or we can sabotage the ship to crash when we land and escape whatever they've got planned for us on the other side. Hmm. What would you like to do? Um, and I think at this point, Alexi, you can probably. Are you taking the time coming back, or um, whether you want to be part of this conversation or not? I presume this room is on the way to the menagerie. Yes, because sure. of the yeah. yeah cool. Yeah. yeah. So he'll stop and go. Oh, hello. Uh, Myla's not back. No. Last I saw, saw she was a rhino. Yes, last I saw as well. Um, sorry, I interrupt. I no, no, we're just talking about what to do. The ship needs some maintenance for tomorrow, and we're talking about whether to sabotage or build up and be in your front there. Come on, uh, with some plans. Yes, yes. Uh, do you want to be involved or? Oh, uh, y- yes. Um, uh, 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 sabotage is simply not the answer. Why? Yeah, no, I kind of feel the same way. Uh, if Why? we have to, because we won't make it, and we, I think, we'll kind of get obliterated. Where are we over right now? You're wondering why. Yes. Uh, um, currently, sorry, yeah, just just answer. Uh, we've just crossed past the and we're over the Bay of Iron at this point. Okay, um, okay, okay. Yep. So there's, there's nothing for us, essentially. If we destroy the boat, there's nothing for us except mm, the Bay of Iron, mm. which we're like, meh. And we know we're going into trap anyway. Like, we might as well make it there and then see what they're doing. That's kind of my feel. I mean, we're just off the west player. coast. We could push right if we could get the uh, get control of the ship. Yeah, so we stare away. I was just wondering whether we were going to be able to pick up two um, um, more than anything. But, yeah, sorry, you were... You wanted to know why we shouldn't sabotage. Yes. But I feel that Four has succinctly answered my question. Well, at the risk of uh, making a particularly unpopular suggestion, I don't think we deviate at all from the journey. Fine. It's a trap. We know that. There is... Strategic merit in in knowing one is going into a trap, but a trap is just a learning experience. <laughs> yes. Hopefully uh, not a permanent one. But yes, uh, I, I rather think that there is something that we can learn. In yes. Port Haven. Yes, I think I think a we're trap all is a learning of, experience. Yeah, I agreed on that. Uh, but I I I know where we can go to learn. Oh. Well, that other, would cut other down than on the learning. Cold Haven? Specifically, I, I, was, I, was, I was the archivist for some time, I, near a hundred years. I, I, I was kind of assuming that you would be the guide for us, if I'm honest. Though, obviously, 
we are <laughs> your least favourite people in the world, so it's kind of hard for me to tell. Hello. Oh, why, why would you assume such? You yelled at me yesterday. Do you not remember telling me to get fucked? Yes. Uh, I don't get yelled at very... In fact, I've never been yelled at before. I have never been this far away from my home. Yes. I also got confused. Wow. I also forgot a name. That's a big day for you, buddy. This has been a very big day. I got yelled at once. It wasn't a very pleasant experience. Yeah. It seems a bit much. I don't get yelled at. I got yelled at a lot. Yes. I got yelled at a lot. <laughs> Maybe that's cyclical. Hurt people hurt people, you know? Uh, yes, but I don't... I did hurt people, yes. A lot. Mm. I did hurt people a lot. Anyway, the menagerie is that way. We'll fix it. It's fine. I will do my best to help those on board. And I will also gather some valuable information about the makeup of this ship. Uh, and also, I believe I will <laughs> use this hammer and I will not hurt anyone. <laughs> Right, so um, the, my, 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 my original purpose in talking, um, uh, 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 also, sorry, I, bad day, got the better of me. Uh, better. Thank you, better than I deserve right now. Um, the, oh. the, there, is, there is, in, in, in Cold Haven, uh, there are uh, several, uh, uh, I suppose the word you'd use is uh, al alcoves, uh, chapels as such. Uh, to, to the um, uh, uh, Raven Queen is the state religion, after all. Um, uh, and 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 I rather think if we were to, uh, I, I have a I have a servant there who um, I, I believe is somewhat still uh, loyal. I don't like to use that word. Uh, In thrall. Um, no, no, he would be more like a kindly uncle. Serving. Um, Alive. Uh, he, I hope he's alive. I, I'd, be, I'd be very upset if he isn't. I'd be surprised. Uh, my point is, uh, b beneath, b before my, uh, my, my, my sister got rid of me, uh, I was close to uncovering something. Yes, well, I'm sure you shall have plenty of time. No, no, no. Um, I, as in literally something. A series of what I thought to be catacombs. I do love a tunnel, I think. I no, no, wait, that's the one thing one. I, we, should, uh, we should give that a try. Tunnels, tunnels are learning experience. Are you telling me <laughs> if we <laughs> survive whatever crazy shit your sister's got planned, we've got somewhere we can go? Yes. If we don't sabotage the ship. Yes. So we should fix the ship and fly through and yes. escape on the other side. Yeah, and, and if what, what, the little I was able to understand of early caster house is true, then we might find something about the core of my family there and then we're talking about an ancient gift from a god. Yes, right. yes, that's nice. Yes. Um, great. Fixing the ship, shall we go? I'm sorry, it's, it's all very exciting for you. Uh, we're kind of on a slightly different um, thing. Uh, I don't know, don't know if you remember. The moon is going to explode and nobody cares. The moon really but is going to explode. we are really, like, kind of trying to fix that right now. Um, we will keep that in mind, and I'm sure it shall become relevant very shortly. But first... Can you find your um, elf girlfriend? I've got some questions to ask. Bright red. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> She's very pretty. Mm. Mm. Good kisser, actually. Oh, really? Oh. That is what you oh. said about his sister. Ah. And I should, I should compare. Do you think she'd be up for that? Uh, yes, I, I actually do. How immune are you to explosions? <laughs> Already left. I mean, I keep coming back. Door slams. <laughs> <laughs> huh. Okay, he's, he's a lot, but is that in the right place? Yeah. Uh, I have... We can only assume. <laughs> yes. Takes all sorts. I Listen, I've got I've got some items that I think I've been saving up for this. Uh, so I feel like when we get there, we'll be all right. Um, but let's shore up this shoddy ironwood thing first. Cool. Understood. And we'll cast Blessing of the Forge. We'll use Blessing of the Forge on his hammer. Oh, Great. Right. So. Um, Topical. Yes. And before the day is out, mm -hmm. uh, 
Four would like to go and bother Leandra, if that's yeah. an option. All right, at some we point. we Thank we you. will. I promise we will get to that. So I'm just, just putting a pin in it. Absolutely, uh, we will not end the session without you annoying the hell out of Jenny. Thank you. Have, uh, just 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 plan between the two of you what you want to do with that. Cool. So, uh, we are currently in the morning stage. Captain Moss has approached you. The deck ends have approached you. Um, you have the morning and the afternoon to attempt to do something that is going to improve the state of the ship. There aren't specific things that need working on, but if you come to me with ideas that you want to throw in, depending on what you do, depending on how well you roll, will impact how easy and what the difficulty challenge for the next day of travel is going to be. Leandra, you can take part in this, or you can decide not to. You can harm, hamper, help, you can do whatever you want in that as well. If one of you wants to secretly sabotage the ship instead to change the DC and want to secretly tell me that, that is also completely fine. Um, but as I understand, the party is largely aligned on trying to get to Coldhaven safely. Yes. Mm -hmm. If that is not the case, please tell me privately. Cool. So we will start uh, with the Blessing of the Forge tutorial. What would you like to do to improve the, uh, the vessel? We'll go to find the damage that he caused before. Great. <laughs> so the, we'll check out the anchors and check out the uh, general attachments. Uh, so the, anything that's going to be heavy that could be dislodged mm -hmm, or mm -hmm. shift the balance of the ship one way or the other. Great. So you spend the next four hours trying to knock something back into place. Cool. And we'll cast mending and we'll be hitting Great. things with that. Roll a d20 and add your proficiency bonus for me then, please. Sweet. Only works. That's 21. Okay. Pretty good. With a 21, you being an expert uh, smith yourself, you recognize the damage. You were able to almost do the reverse recreation of the initial damage you did with your memory pathways, remembering the exact movements you made to make the damage. You managed to bring the balance back into a good enough place. And Captain Moss comes fast. Yeah. Good work. All right, keep it up. I do not care about your opinion. I respect that. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. Carries on. Cool. Four. Um, so I'm going to use just a bunch of sorcery points and um, essentially gather gather the deckhands upon me and cast a big haste. That is my... Okay. So I'm going to maximize the amount of time and the things Great. that can get done um, and not lift a finger. <laughs> <laughs> Leandra sees this and is like, respect. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Cool. Okay, so you, you can you can you can do this. Do you want this to be just your morning or your morning and your afternoon? Because mm. if you're blowing all your spell slots, all your sorcery points now, or you can try something else again this afternoon if you want to do something new. Mm, I've got three three level three spell slots. Let's do one in the morning, one in the afternoon. Okay. Uh, roll two me. two two d twenties for me then, please, and add your proficiency. I got a five and a three. Wow. With uh, just straight proficiency. Cool. So eight and six. Given that it turns out three makes up about half of the deckhands here, it's not as many ah. as you would hope. Yeah. However, they do go about um, tightening the rigging, pulling in the sails, and like generally getting things into a better state. It's helped a little bit with the haste they've managed to achieve a bit. Maybe it's not as dramatic and improvement as you want, but nonetheless, it Didn't has have made. To lift a finger. That's the one. Cool. Leandra. <laughs> Sorry, I, I have something for you, don't worry. You, you notice, you know, there's going on. Is Leandra doing anything? What is Leandra up to at the moment after not eating? Hmm. How are you feeling right now? It's only been a day, so you're not suffering any, any side effects, but it's definitely a... Yeah, it's I not think a fun she's time. probably not keen on eating again immediately, even if she's hungry. Um, she's just going to kind of be wandering around observing, okay. observing, I think, and making sure everyone's working as... Hard as they should be. Sure. She's out there with a cattle prod. Yeah. And uh, can I do any sort of general kind of boost to just generally help? Intelligence, fix charisma, and... leadership. Yep, absolutely. Just make a charisma charisma roll then. Thank you. Oh, that's a nat one. <laughs> oh. Is it okay. you still just, smell you, you like rhino shit. <laughs> You Stop to, them doing their jobs. Yes. <laughs> you go to speak and you cough and just the smell of, of bad blood comes from your throat and you immediately double back and go back inside to freshen up. You feel dirtier than you've felt in a long, long time. Mm, grim. And you don't know why. This is Something definitely not the vibe I wanted. Vibe. I was just thinking, it's like, that's a very... But that's if I, you, are, you are great. Cool. Alexi. 
You said you specifically have. Well, you 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 make your way down. You come to the menagerie, and you do find Myla sort of sitting cross-legged. Hi. Hi. How are you? Yeah, I'm fine. How are you? Uh. Oh, I guess it's been yeah, it's been rough times. Are you all right? Um. Uh, I'm I'm trying not to think about too much of uh, it. Um. Other than our, um, I, uh, I put a, um, I, I, I wrote you a... Oh, yes, I saw. Um, just out of interest, how many Alexis do you think I know? I thought it better to, um, play on the side of caution. Okay, I don't know any other Alexis. Right, but I didn't want to assume. And I certainly don't know any who are likely to be sending, writing me notes. Especially when I can watch them writing the notes. <laughs> so I know which Alexi wrote them. You see, now, when you say it like that, it rather makes me sound like a bit of an idiot. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Oh, no, 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 I, it, it was a joke. Oh. Uh, I, 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 I enjoyed our conversation yesterday and I, I just um, I, I didn't want you to think that despite being hungover and seeing my frankly horrifically traumatic and bullying sister and uh, learning my father died and uh, I get it this was the worst day I've ever had except for that one bit except for you okay got it uh, Alexi will catch Myla about everything he said about the uh, cool. catacombs and everything, just to save some time. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think we need to go. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. I'm going to try and help out on the ship, I guess. I have an idea, actually. I thought you might be able to assist me with something. Okay. Now, I, I've um, rather uh, learned the ability to, um, over a short period to uh, absorb certain elements to uh, mitigate uh, uh, their, their damage. It was in the book that I took from Sarek. Yes. Do you think in combining our magic we might be able to extend a sort of field to protect from the worst of the damage in the storm? Oh, potentially. I mean, I can do that too, but also I can just cast an enormous wall of wind. Right. So here's my thinking. If you can keep an enormous wall of wind... Uh, and I can sort of uh, offset any uh, stray lightning blasts. Yes. Then we should, in all essence, be able to keep a relatively secure place. I was also thinking I should maybe add some additional help to the ship today. That, well, um, and Alexi will bring up Mayway's book. This helps me find things. I thought maybe we could work on it together. Oh, I meant I could literally create extra crew members. I meant about finding weak spots that have, may have otherwise been overlooked. Interesting. We have differing thoughts about how to go about this. Excellent. Then why don't we reconvene later for the magic plan? Yes. Yes. Well, we should do that tomorrow. Yes. Um, I mean to iron out the details. <laughs> sure. I, um, I will go and talk to the deckhands so that mm -hmm. they know that the creepy magic things are there to help them. Right. Otherwise, chaos. Yes. Well, we're on board. You think they'd expect a little chaos? True. I'm going to go and try and find any places that uh, has been overlooked and see if I can... Uh, well, I can't fix. I'll see if Toot can potentially help. Okay. I'm going to go and make some mischief. I mean help. <laughs> <laughs> cool. All right. Uh, so, just we'll do a little thing. I'll yep. start with you, Sasha slash Myla. What would you like to do? I am uh, going to conjure minor elementals. Okay. Noise. Ballin. Noise. And what, what would you have elementals? them do? Give me, give me, give me. So some. there's going to be eight of them. Oh, that's good shit. Wow. Uh, but they're like little, little things. Pixies, isn't it? Yeah, sort of pixie type things. Okay. So there's either woodland folk or, like, yeah, elementals. Um, and I'm basically just going to have them. Um, they are friendly to me and my companions. Great. And we'll f like, so I'm just going to be like, go help whoever you find. And so like, they, the crew can just give them orders. So like, they need help putting rigging up if they need help, like going down the side of the ship and hammering Great. something in. My elementals can do that. Which, in which case, uh, Naomi, can you my roll again? And we'll give you my an elementals. advantage roll since they're getting some help now. Just once. 
No, or twice. One. For two rolls. Yep. Second one's still a five. <laughs> but the first one's a thirteen. Hey, there we go. So Alright, that is 16. that is that has helped you then. <laughs> cool. Um, Listen, great. it's about it's about the thought. It's the thought that counts, Absolutely. not the spell slots and Well, you're on two points. passes, two failures, so we'll see where that leads us. Actually you're on three failures because you've got a net one over here. Um how's it going? Oh, no, no, it's great. It, it makes things more, more plot, fun. More baby. Absolutely. But I am also going to yeah. cast Long Strider okay. on the crew to also help them move faster. Okay. Long Strider is good fun. Good to know. Great. Uh, in which case... No, the natural one's more fun. You're not getting a reroll on that. God damn it. Cool. Alexi. Uh, I'm going to use Mayway's book yep uh go around and try and find anything that on the sort of like many repairs uh, that the ship has had over the years mm -hmm. anything any sort of structural weaknesses that have been kind of overlooked cool. and uh cast mending on those i can yep. those i can't i'm gonna note down to find two with a list later on okay roll a d20 add your intelligence modifier your spell casting modifier please cool um do i get advantage because of mayway's book no. Do I get advantage because Nyx is helping me? No. Oh, you shit. get a straight roll. You've managed to find things easily enough with the book. You've had the time to do that. Sure. Uh, so I'm letting straight you roll this. and spellcasting spell casting modifier. Is... Cool. Balls. Hey. Bless you. Um, Myla's also going to go, once she's cast her things and cast Long Strider, she's going to go this find Toot. This shit is going to drop. Um, and whatever Toot's doing to mend things, Myla will be casting like heat me metal to help him like cool. weld Great. things in. Basically, yeah. She can't do shit, but she's just going to be there like the buff <laughs> buffing everyone else. All right. Half the day sort of comes. We are currently sitting on four failures and two passes. So the ship tightened up in a couple of different places, but you can definitely see it's, it's not looking good. Um, nice. We're on the next part of the day, unless anyone has any other conversations they want to carry on, or we'll go for the next round of challenges. How obvious is it that this isn't going well? Uh, make an intelligence. Anyone can make an intelligence or an insight check to see the state of things. Moss will as well. That is a that natural one. Five. Nat two. I am rolling like 26. Bullshit. Baby. Okay. <laughs> this is going well. You no, know it's, it's not going well. It's not going well. No. It could be going better. How better on a scale oh. of. It, like, <laughs> on a scale of six, could be going four better. I think we've done about a third of what we should have. <laughs> Alexi will find Leandra's room. Okay. I rolled a 26, so I'm Oh, yeah, so aware. you're very aware as whether you can or not. Yeah, so I'm probably in there trying to figure out what's best Great. to do. And yep. Alexi appears at your door. Come in. This isn't going well. I'm well aware. We should turn or avoid it or find... Let's place a dock. We need to carry on. There's no op other How option. We need to carry on if we're falling dead from the sky. We just have to somehow. Leah, what is this obsession? Leandra, sorry. What is this obsession? It's it's not an obsession. I just we just we just need to get there. No, forgive me. You're smarter than this. You know when something isn't working. What is this about? There's more we can do. Surely there's more we can do. Leandra. Alexi. Please. Just talk to me. For once. Like I'm your brother who wants to help you. Because I do. Persuasion or deception? Help you into an early grave. <laughs> don't tell me what which one. Just roll the dice, add the number, but don't tell me which one. No, yay, Alexi, rolling charisma shit. You know what? Fuck it. Mike gave me inspiration. Fifteen. For Alexi, he sounds like he's being very earnest. Okay, fine. What, what's your suggestion? We aren't... St the way I see it, we have two options. We either uh, lower the ship to avoid the worst of the storms. We, we seem to be far too high. Uh, further up, higher the wind speed, less resistance. If we're a little bit further down, maybe some of the mountains can block out the worst of the winds. Uh, or... We try and land. Lose a couple of days, but 
I doubt a couple of days are really going to make that much of a difference. I can hear someone somewhere about to say something about the moon exploding, but... Yes, I've heard them mention that several times. They will not shut up Three about it. Three walks past the roof, got a fucking explode, guys. I'm sure <laughs> Surely, um, two days, three at the most, is not going to make a difference. Unless there's something I need to know that you're not telling me. We need to crack on. Why? Let's assess the options. Where's the captain? Leah. Why? You don't need to know. I think I do. I don't think you do. Right, and she's just going to walk out and to find Mars. He's going to go with her. Okay, cool. You find the captain um, up, up at the back here, um, inspecting and checking and trying to help the deckhands with the rigging. Moss, what's the situation? Um... I know it's not good. Oh, oh, yeah, okay, it's not good. Good. Um, yes, uh, it's yes, not no. good. You what are our options? Shit. We need to carry on, so what are our options? Go higher, go lower? I would say Talk going lower would help our chances a little bit. It would be more, sus okay. more susceptible to wind sweeping up a little bit, but it would, it would, it would help our chances. Um, if you're guaranteed on this timeline with the, uh, with you... the ritual, it would be... Uh, guarantee these timelines with the arrival, then we should, uh, we should be... Um, and you thought going lower could work as well, so let's do that. Go it, lower. It's the best of a shit sandwich, yes. Okay, let's Did do I it. Did I say that right? Oh, yes, that's really quite... Well done. Thank you. Yes. Good. It's a very apt phrase, Good. currently. Um, by the way, ma'am, um, and they pull out a ring identical to the one they currently wear. Just in case something would happen to me, this is so you have command yes. of the ship. Thank you. Cool. Ritual, eh? I don't know what you're on about. He said arrival. <laughs> anyway, we need to crack on. This is not a good situation, Alexi. Please focus on the task I, at I hand. I did say arrival. I are they, say arrival. Are they up on the deck of the ship? Like, are they up? Yeah, they're, they're up, up top here by the, um, by the, by the arm. Can Myla sort of bounce on up and be like, um, so I've noticed that it's not going great in terms of preparation. Yes, well observed. What if we were to land the ship, but then use magic to move faster once the day had passed? You can keep to your schedule, but we won't die. <laughs> I mean, I do like death, but I don't want to die. So, I mean, is Moss still there? Or is oh yeah, Moss, Moss is right there. Watching. Thoughts? Uh, I mean, I also don't like dying. Not that anyone can die at the moment, um, but yeah, I don't true. like pain. It'd be nice to avoid that and yes. being scattered to the winds. It's Maiming. Not the Either way. Horrific pain, being we cannot to bits by the rigging. get there. She... We need to get there. Well, could you just blast mm -hmm. us forward now with some power? Maybe we could skip ahead. I probably would have been needing to do it all day rather than this late. But I could probably skip us ahead a bit now, and then we can land. It means we'd be out of the storm quicker. We just land a little bit hot, but I think we could take that. I think that's incredibly ambitious, Captain. Uh, I'm an incredibly ambitious person. Right. Um. So. Thank you. Mm. Uh, I just, I, I do respect your um, gumption. I, I just, I think that to push forward in such an instance is more foolhardy than not. If there is an option where we can land, which, not to say I told you so, I did suggest earlier, and Milo can help us pick up the speed. Well, the problem is we could have landed yesterday. We can't really land right now. Then get us as close to the bottom as we can. Can I enter the sea? Absolutely. Fam. Anytime. Um, Let him just... <laughs> great. Uh, having not left a finger all day, mm. Um, Proud of you. So you. full of energy. Yeah. Um, I'm like, right, so... We're going? Great. Uh, Leandra, can I grab you for a minute? <laughs> I'm rather in the middle of something important. I look around at, like, Moss and Alec, and I'm just like... 
Moss just sort of like grabs Alexia and like, maybe we could talk about. I don't care how you do it. Moss is gone. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care how you do it. <laughs> just get us there in time, please. As Moss is walking away with Alexi, can Alexi just, like, as they're walking away, can Alexi just, like, put his hand on Moss's shoulder as they're walking and talking? Sure. I want to do, like, the slightest gesture of him being something of a human being. <laughs> she looks a little taken aback and then, yeah, she carries on. <laughs> yes. Sorry. No, I've sorry. been using days all, all the time. It's, it's fine. Mm-hmm. Cool. Right. Great. Uh, I think I head back towards your quarters, if that's okay. Bless you. Mm-hmm. Sure. Great. Um, I like to think it's Cyril playing in the woods. <laughs> Actually, I don't think she would want you anywhere near No, I don't think so either, quarters. but there's somewhere private that you would allow, I assume. Yeah, some sort of... Maybe the study which we've already destroyed. No. <laughs> Definitely not. A dining room, perhaps? Yeah, yeah sure. sure. One, yeah. Of, one of the lesser dining rooms, maybe. Yeah, great. Definitely a lesser. Yeah, it's not up to your standard. It's, it's only okay. gold on the door handle, not platinum. Gosh. Now, um, busy day. Yes, very. Um, I know that feelings between us are a little bit complicated. No, <laughs> yes. Uh, <laughs> but I'm here to make amends. You'll be so glad to hear. Yes, thrilling. Now, I don't want to be rude. <laughs> But you look like shit. <laughs> When's the last time you Back ate? at you. This morning. Yes, and then after that you felt great, I assume. Yes, I felt fine. Why? Because... You... Not to put too fine on a point on it, but you uh, you have, I think, what, what we would generally refer to as hungry eyes. Um, and, and, and you, yeah, like, I always have hungry eyes. <laughs> when was the last time Leandra didn't eat or missed a meal? Or was it ha- has it ever happened? Not in a long time. There you go. Like a little bit paler. Probably not- when. Probably not since like before Alexi sure. left. She probably lost some yeah. some of her time because of him stressing her out. But. <laughs> Well, the good news is, is uh, I'm trying to die, you want me to die, and you're very hungry. I feel like we can come to an accord. Three is just like... Three's not there, bitch! (laughs) (laughs) No, no, it's a private thing. Three's everywhere. Three's every decade, and that's how I carry on. But, (laughs) as much as I might relish in the idea of being the one to kill you myself... Mm -hmm. I am still aware, and as are you, you cannot actually die yet, so... Yeah, that that's fine. I'm just, I'm really, I'm really trying to build the bridge. As a, as a powerful woman, I respect you. I think you respect me. There's no reason we can't get along. Be civil. Isn't that what you cast devs do? Be civil. <laughs> Depends with who, but... Yes, so, okay, so what are you asking? I'm not asking, I'm offering. I'm offering free meals and uh, no one will shit on your floor for a while. I do like the idea of that. It was rather unpleasant. <laughs> yes. Also, how did you know about that? <laughs> Listen. Uh, <laughs> yes. I mean, I assume all the deck hands have yeah. been having oh, a yeah. right last three, three Yes, oh my yes. God. Oh, word spreads quickly yeah. on this ship. Someone's been talking shit. Yeah. Ha ha. I'm here all week. I have a great sense of rhinos. We could hear through the deck. It, uh, I mean, it was a hippo, given that you want to die, I'm assuming that pain is not so much of an issue for you, but I feel I should say it is quite painful. Oh, it's not the first time. Go wild. Can I... I feel like there's something fishy going on here, so she's definitely sus of this, so... Can Do you I... want me to roll a fucking persuasion? Persuasion or deception? Give me the number. Don't tell me what you're rolling. Just... Uh, will a 25 do? You can roll an insight on that? Yeah. <laughs> it's not gonna... <laughs> no. Yeah, it's on the level. Uh... Look at that face. Look at that face. <laughs> yeah. Um... 
okay, she's just a bit distracted. I'm just a bit distracted, obviously, with everything going on right now. Would you, you like me at a bad time? Like me as a player to tell you that I will not make you throw up the way that Myla did. <laughs> there's, there's none of that involved. I this is a purely much. political play to encourage. Yeah, the vomit was all me. So. Yeah. <laughs> To encourage them to see her to see four as an equal a little bit, to give four more access she to her. She doesn't see her as food as an equal. No, it doesn't matter. Four's very charismatic. Like, I'm just, this is an in to get more of your time, essentially. You're going to have access to, four will have access to you once a day if you decide to feed on her. Like, that is the, the basically the, the rationale for what she's doing. She's just giving herself options. Yeah. You know? And she's... I think we're... 330 deaths so far. So, like, another one is like... Meh. It's halfway to Satan. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. not going to be so. significant. What happens next? Do you feed on four? Up to you. Mm, she's pretty hungry. And she's struggling with energy levels, I feel, at this point. Do you want to make to it try up to the dogs? On. She's yeah. Like make a wisdom she was right earlier as well. Not a good day. That's a 14. No. You, you give in. Cool. <laughs> Mine was trying to feed her. I didn't know Matt was going to make you throw it up. <laughs> I think it's, it would be a waste of your polymorph once a day. You know what I mean? I can do it more than once a day. Yeah. It's not a polymorph. True, it's a wild shape. Cool. I need you to make a constitution saving throw, please. Yeah, that's fair. This cocked. It was so close to a natural 20. Uh, fab. That is a 20. Cool. Not natural. It sucks. Yeah, hey. it does. It fizzes. Tastes like pop rocks. Mm -hmm. uh, ah. Yeah. Changing Fun. blood's pretty good. Yeah. It's not asthma, but it's pretty good. It's not asthma. No, nothing could be. Um, but yeah, you manage to avoid any any sort of exhaustion. Yep. You're drained, but yeah. Sweet. Good. And you you get your fill. Thank you. I'm going to go carry on. Good. Right, Fab. Uh, this ship is going to be a problem. Uh, I'm honestly game if you are. Um, I think putting down's gonna save no one, uh, and it's going to really ruin everyone's schedule. Exactly. Yes. Well, I'm Great. glad someone's on the same page as me. <laughs> Good. Uh, and then I leave. Okay. Wang. With my lucky All right. Wang. So the last section of the session, uh, we will go one more afternoon. Uh, we'll stand on this side and we'll work our way around. So, Myla, what would you like to do to improve the ship? Um, so is this the same day? This is the day before the Stephen. Yeah, yeah. This is all the same day. So cool. you've done the morning. Now we're yeah. in the afternoon. Yeah. Um, yeah. So she'll be going around heat metal mm -hmm. with two trying cool. to find bits that need like welding. Great. Um, and she will um, cast. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Does, she, there's not much more she can do from like a magic cool. perspective. So she's probably instead just going to be like um, doing whatever she can to help the deck hands, so she'll be like running around, getting them like food, getting them water, right. um, getting fetching any tools that they need. Like she's just basically gonna be their errand girl. Cool. And will like right. in which case two you, you will get advantage, assuming you want to keep repairing and the deck hands yeah. will also get advantage when that goes ahead cool. as well. Great. Leandra, anything you want to do? Uh yeah. Have we already moved down as No already? one's given the order yet if you wanna no no one has actually said you want to do that. That that power is with you if you want to decide to that was the, the general con or, I don't want to land. Okay, but if you want the ship to fly lower, we can do that. And that I... will make some differences to, to tomorrow, yes. The general consensus seemed to be that that would help, so I'm going to... Because he gave me the ring. Okay. She gave me the ring. You decide yourself, Cool. I will send you the specs for that. Uh, you just moss. You hear a yell from outside. What the... F oh, right, right, cool. <laughs> and you all feel the ship all start good. to <laughs> lower a little bit more. Cool. Um, anything else I can do? Or if there's anything else you can think of, I just feel like I want to like try and boost everyone. Cool. To... All right. 
Don't worry, we'll do, do that. A job. Give do give a, a job. give another charisma check then, please, to see if you help or hinder. <laughs> That's a two, so probably not. <laughs> cool. Uh, the deckhands do not get advantage now when they roll. No. Uh, yeah, it's counting each other up. Do you good. not have good charisma? Uh, I do, but so it'd be plus. Not enough. Not enough no. though, because I rolled a two. Cool. Uh, four. Six. What would you like to do? Um. Sars. Question. Yeah, lay it on me. Uh, we're looking at a massive weather event. Yes. There is like concern about like things freezing or hitting us. Is that freezing, hitting? Um, we're also talking about potential chaotic magical energy. Mm-hmm. We are talking weather events. We're talking weather specific monsters. Like there's there's a whole list of things that could come up. Oh, get how, hell yeah. Yeah. Cool. This isn't just a oh the sail falls off. Like uh-huh. there's more than a non-zero chance you'll be fighting something tomorrow as well. If if things don't go well. Cool. Yeah. Can I? Mm, so. A lot of my spells are of limited duration. Am I allowed to sort of be like, and this is the thing that I have? Absolutely, with? yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. We're, we're on a free day. Nothing else is happening today, Great. unless someone is um, really. So really I would dumb. like to, I would like to grease the outside of the ship. Okay. Make that bad boy slippy. Good. Re- reduce drag. Increase the chance of anything that hits us sliding off. Makes it harder for anything to get onto the ship. That's Hell great. yeah! Good, yeah, Love great. That. Cool. Love that. Good. Um, and cool. then the second thing is uh, hallucinatory ter- terrain. Okay. So I'd like to camouflage nice. the ship a little bit using hallucinatory terrain, if possible. Okay. So it's just to kind of make us less obvious if there were thingies looking to fuck us up. So give us cool. kind of more like, um, you know, the way that fish are like grey underneath and like blue on top. Like sure. that's kind of the vibe. Cool, cool. I'll say the the terrain stuff will be a tomorrow thing because I think that's a bit more limited. But yes, yeah. That, yeah, on the day we can absolutely do cool. that. Fab. Cool, fab. Anything else you want to... Oh, I think the grease thing would take you a bit apart. Yeah, it's, entire it's the ship. grease or, or haste, sure. really. That's cool. really all I'm great. Doing. Tutorial. Anything else you want to do? Cool. Roll. But also, uh, going to prep a couple things. So, noticing that everyone else seems to be having a really hard time, even though he thinks it's going really well. You're doing great. I'm doing great. He is working so hard and... F- you're what working so like hard, sweat. a little bead of sweat does appear on your face. I was just going to say, it's like, for the first time, it's like a tiny bead of sweat, but also it's kind of lost amongst all of the melted wax <laughs> as he is working and the friction and the, the heat is building up. And just one moment, there's a little bead of sweat and he's like, oh, the wax, of course. I need to reapply the wax. And we'll continue wanging. Uh, but he will also cast Calm Emotions. Okay. On the uh, on the deck hands. Anyone who seems like they're having a hard time, he'll go up and he'll take out a little thing from his tummy drawer. And a just chill pill. A, <laughs> a little blue thing and just will crash and tap and say, there, there, you're doing a very good job. Good. You get another roll based on that. Oh, sweet. Okay, I'm going to roll it on the table this time. Okay, that's a bit better. Uh, where's my numbers gone? Uh, that is a 15. Okay. Everyone seems a little bit better than demeanor. No one seems as scared of you all of a sudden. It's almost like there's other people on the boat. They're not as scared suddenly, of me. Suddenly either. able to like stand up for themselves. It's, it's wild. Gross. <laughs> not cool. against me, though. Right. And, and you can roll with advantage for your hammering. Just to see you. if we can give the team another general, another general whammering. Don't look at the dice. That's the one. Is that another natural one? No. Natural 20. It is. My boy. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I, I've got another if dice. You, if you roll another net 20, we'll... <laughs> that was a nat one. <laughs> oh no! Cool. Twenty's big. Twenty's huge for you though, because it wasn't oh. looking good. Cool. Yeah. Alexi. Uh, Alexi's been talking to the captain. Mm. Um, basically, uh, he's been trying to find out how this ring works precisely. Like, you know, is it controlling? Does magic kind of flow through it to the ship? Oh, it's a, literally it's a magical tether. So I turn one way, the ship goes one way. It's Quite great. Also, I can do this. And they concentrate. She concentrates for a second. And <laughs> launches a cannonball rocketing off the sides. <laughs> Hell yeah. Yeah. So useful. In a pinch. Bit of a recoil. I, I have an idea. Mm. Uh, I, I have certain spells that can, um, well, absorb elements. And if we're going into a storm, it's more likely that we're going to come across things. My sister can also fly the ship, yes? 
Uh, yes, yes. Right, and then it would uh, stand to reason that that ring is, forgive me, uh, this is not my words I would choose to use, uh, that is the uh, the master ring. It is capable of overriding yours. Oh, no, no, no. I, 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 respectfully, no, this is this is the, the king ring. Right, well, I... It's very gendered of you. <laughs> I rather thought... Lord, fuck off. Instead of the rhymes, leave me alone. For this, you should loan that to me. <laughs> I, I understand. <laughs> oh. Do you have proficiency in air vehicles, my friend? <laughs> but, so, sweetie, you're, you're cute, but that's that's not that's not gonna fly. Um, Unlike this ship. If I Ayo. if I to channel uh, some sort of shield across, if I understand this ring, how you're explaining it then using it I can channel a shield or a protective barrier which it sounds like is the sort of thing we could use mm, it is but uh, your sister's quite magical I'm sure she could do something just as effective why not I just ask her because it's far better to have two people that can do it than one okay you get to make a persuasion check it's a straight roll unless you want to do any other magical shenanigans? Uh, I, I don't know if you got like a charm person or anything. I don't so have a charm person. Increase the homosexual tension. Of and <laughs> in which case, it's a straight roll. And if I did, that would make them an enemy afterwards, which would be a bad idea anyway, because charm person. I wouldn't advise it. But desperate times. Yeah. Six. I understand where you're coming from, but no. <laughs> Respectfully. Respectfully. Mm. No. Hell no. Then why can I best? channel my magic through this ship. Probably into the uh, lower runes if you're looking to reinforce. And uh, she takes you below deck and there's sort of like two large crystals sort of floating. Uh, sort of like a black orange um, in colour. Just sort of like vibrating, pulsating slightly. And just like, they, they sort of rise up and down. Unlike the ring you saw on, on the Oculus, <laughs> which is controlled by Central Point. Yep. Um, no, this seems to be entirely its own sort of control. Um, uh, if you wanted to add some extra protection here, I'm sure that would help us in the event of a crash tomorrow. Who else is in this room? Uh, at this particular point, there's one deckhand <laughs> and two vanguards, uh, gauntlets out, out front. Okay, uh, they're like, so I, I will need some time to uh, study this to learn how to properly attune to the crystals. Am I fine to... Of, of course, of course. Right, uh, Alexi will do that, but he is also, while studying it, going to try and figure out not sabotaging it, but the best way of sabotaging it in case we need to make an escape and ruin cast out chasing implements later. Okay, so you want to take a chance to study that? Yes. yes. Um, remind me with the book. Does that allow you to make advantage on Arcana checks as well? I don't... Uh, or is it just investigation? I, I don't know because I never got the sheet for it. I definitely sent it to you twice, you... but that's fine. Oh, I thought it was... Hmm. No, oh, worries. Then. no worries. No worries. <laughs> Not to call you out. No, no, call me out. You my brain out. is at like three percent. He's yeah. sick. He's How very good are you? He's dying. Okay. Have you no, no mercy? <laughs> <laughs> cool. Uh, you get advantage if you car if you go investigation. Yep. However, investigation will be a higher DC. So you can do do an arcana check as a straight roll. With a, with a DC of 17, mm. or you can do an investigation check with a DC of 21 at advantage. Because um, what you're trying to do is ascertain how to sabotage yeah. something. Why is, why is everyone oh, <laughs> just I don't, don't worry about you it. You don't need to know. It's best for you if you don't. I'm going to watch <laughs> this back later when I edit it. violating my babies. They are doing horrific things to the babies. I'm we are a delight. We're inventors. <laughs> Pushing uh, the boundaries of science. Noise, we'll take the advantage. Okay. I think <laughs> mathematically that's a better option. Bring it on. Mm. You know what? No, because you guys have betrayed me all day. <laughs> that's how probability works. I, I won't look. <laughs> yeah, it says the man who threw a dice across the... Uh, that is a 21. <gasps> okay. It takes you several hours. And yep. Moss gets bored. <laughs> pretty quickly. Right. The guards stay, the deckhand does stay. It's a real deckhand, uh, as far as you know. <laughs> Is it because of like deckhands? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck's sakes. Um, cool. I'd you, never make fun of your accent, by the way. You... <laughs> my neighbour's wife likes to spend time on my deckhand. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. The studying takes several hours. The studying <laughs> takes several hours, and you walk across the deck, 
uh, looking for. You you learn that these work on a battery system where one sort of compensates the other. They both sort of set about 50% and if one is overused, it will crack and explode. They aren't designed to contain 100% for a long time. If one was to overcharge, it would crack and the magic would go out. Not necessarily, not necessarily an explosion, but enough that the ship would begin to drop and any siphon power would have to sit and stay. It would cripple the ship quite, quite effectively. You would need to find a way to adjust that channeling or block it from moving back and forth. Yes, Naomi. Is there a little guy who's down there and he goes, no, I cannot do that, Captain. <laughs> Every time he's like, more she power! Can it, she can it take it, Captain! She can it take it, Absolutely. Captain! There's a little there's a little Scottish gnome. I'm giving it all she's got. <laughs> uh, uh, forgive me, I did not realise the ship was gendered. <laughs> no, you've been giving me shit all night about yeah. That's fine, cool. Uh, so bicycle. Okay, so I figured out, like, the how French. to not overload and destroy the thing. You've, you've figured out a way to cripple it. Um, yeah. You, you figured you could probably make them explode if you really wanted to. Cool. But you figured out at least the mechanism and a way to utilize that to cripple the ship. Great. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Well, then the only, basically, Alexi just wants to f- try and figure out a way to surreptitiously do that on the way out of the ship okay. at one point when we land. Yeah, if we yeah great. With well, a 21, you've definitely got. We need he does to not be... want to be followed this time. And this seems right. to be Leandra's ship. And fuck her. I'm going to roll for the deckhand to see if you get one more success. No me. And we'll see where we end. Okay. I Good cannot perfect. do that, Captain! <laughs> the warp drive of something will get fucked, <laughs> sir. Star Wars guy. All right. We come to it's the, cunted, sir. We come to the evening. <laughs> you're all tired. You're all sweaty. I will say, if you I want to go sweaty. one more round, because it's still not looking good... If you want to go one more round, you can. However, you will all suffer a level of exhaustion except for tutorial the next day. No, I want I want shit to go wrong. Excuse me. Is uh, <laughs> Come on, let's fuck it up. Last moss that you know, all right. It, obviously four is like, meh. But like, me me as Naomi, like, fuck it. Let's just see what fucking happens. Is Are we not playing for entertainment? Like, uh, let's fucking go. Are you not entertained? <laughs> With our total lack of competence. <laughs> I want to I want to see the ship obliterated in two, landing in the middle of nowhere while we're being set upon by hags and, like, fucking yetis. That's what I want. I definitely want, like, kind of plane crash in the Andes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. Yes, yeah. yeah. We, we yeah. have to have that The whole menagerie immediately gets loose and attacks Leandra. I was literally thinking of how to save the whole menagerie earlier. I really and want I've to got, save the menagerie. I've, I've, got, I've got some ideas. Yes, so sir. as the party sits exhausted, <laughs> discussing... Realizing they've done all they can. I think that we fill. Um, you you good? Applying waxing. Wax. You're oh. waxing. <laughs> I thought you were shaving. It's so did I. It, it's similar. It's like the opposite. He's applying the wax but not taking the strips off. Yeah. Um. um Does anyone have any final thoughts before we wrap up tonight's episode? Um, oh if there was, goodness. if there was some way to like manufacture a little hot tub for us all to sit in, to be like, uh, oh, that would really this- like. There's, there's at least four hot tubs on this ship yeah, already. Good, good, yes. Good. Sauna time. Sauna time. Yeah. Been ages since they were, we were last in a hot tub. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. We should, yeah. We should does Leandra join them or does she do her own thing? Oh, hell no. Leandra has her own hot tub. Yeah. She has her own like full like water. No, okay, it's not. Can I go to my private? Yeah. <laughs> you go to your bath. Who are like? You call Hazel there, <laughs> and you guess about how terrible they are. And as you sit waiting for the next day to come around, you all bathe for maybe the first time in weeks. And as the evening draws to a close and midnight begins to... Yep. I would like to drown myself at least once. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) Thank you. On the stroke of midnight, as Four comes back from drowning for perhaps the third time that evening, Three gives you another go. (laughs) Just pushes you back down. I'll get it this time. Rain begins to lash against the side of the ship and a wind begins to pick up. A violent shudder takes place and a bell begins to ring from the outside and the seasonal change has begun. And that is where we're going to pick up for next week's episode. Hell yeah! Oh, uh, hello, thank you so much. Goodbye, my name is Beam Rap. I'm going to be your Game Master, Dungeon Master, Dreamweaver, Storyteller. What was Divine the other Divine Storyteller. There we go. I didn't realize you were going to say Storyteller. Yeah, no, I didn't. It's fine. It's yeah, fine. It's, it's great. Fine. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I've been joined by the incredible David Cox, Reese Lawton, Naomi Clark, 
Jenny, Jennifer Bingham. Jenny or Jennifer? <laughs> is that what Jen? Big J. I don't care. Jenny B. <laughs> J-Doll. J-Doll. <laughs> J-Dizzle. Any of the above. Is Sasha fine. Burgoyne and Jeffa Creek has been a one- wonderful Woo-hoo! camera and sound tonight. Uh, she's done it all because um, they're, they're pretty amazing. Uh, octopus. <laughs> she's an octopus. <laughs> they're an octopus. Uh, and so that's that. Check out all the wonderful, amazing uh, people who made all this possible. Musicians, artists, etc, uh, etc. Et and also congratulations to this person uh, who won the Woo-hoo! giveaway. Uh, please Rat. check out the Look Patreon. Out, they got a knife. They just got off. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> no, putting it away. Putting it away. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Appreciate it a lot. And uh, we'll see you next time for the big season change. <gasps> woo, woo, woo. <laughs> My Ooh. baby yeah. on the floor. Where is my baby? Stay. On the floor with mine. Oh, I don't think mine, mine's legs will quite babies. straddle the... <laughs> You're like, there is no shortage of babies. Uh, Fear I'm not. Fuck. Throw me a baby. Throw no, that baby. Welcome to throw to that baby. I'm here to throw that baby. Fuck. Also, oh, you know Tina from Hull, do, have you Fuck. decided overarm, underarm? There you go. Whirly game, Fuck. what are you feeling? I thought I'd kind of throw the baby like a discus. There we go. Throw the baby like a discus. Let's see how it fares for you, Tina from Hull. Throw that baby. Throw that baby. That's an Olympic oh. side watch. Yeah. Um, Matt, did you do the video Tina stuff for that video, which is like, "Where's the baby?" No, because that's that's fucking. No, no, I didn't. Sadly, it was before. That was before it was your time. Yeah. Effort, Here's the baby. Here's the you know baby. what? I think it's good for the baby to be ricocheted into the audience once in a while. It's really character shaping. I remember in my youth, I was ricocheted into the audience on three non-consecutive occasions. <laughs> well, th- I think that means I'll be back. Okay, I look forward to it, Tina from Hull. And, Have a and next day. time, I'm going to win the fridge. And next time, she's going to win the fridge. That's all from our spokes on. Throw, Throw that, that baby! baby! Oh, yeah, got a little thing.